everybody, Drew and... Fuck. Hey, everybody, Drew here for Drew Dad Games, back. As I said I would uh, this morning when I was on break at work, that I would be live by noon at the latest to play Elder, Sc Elder Scrolls 3 Morwen. And this is the Game of the Year edition. So... Here we go. from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? So, let's see here. I never gave any thought to the name of the character. <laughs> That's an, that's an interesting thought. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Alright. <clears throat> you finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. So, skill bonuses, 5 to alchemy, 15 to athletics, illusion, and spear, unarmed, yeah, resist disease, immune, and water breathing, yeah, we know about that, breton, <clears throat> conjuration, uh, mysticism, and restoration are the highest ones, 
and magic a bonus, resist magic and dragon skin, yeah. Dark Elf, <coughs> Destruction, and Short Blade. High Elf, Alchemy, Destruction, and Enchanting. Magicka Bonus, Weakness to Magicka, Weakness to Fire, Frost, and Shock, and can resist disease. Imperial. One Weapon, Hand to Hand, Light Armor, Long Blade, Merchantile, Speechcraft, Star of the West, and Voice of the Emperor Special. Jeet, <coughs> acrobatics is the highest thing. Eye of night and eye of fear, Nord. Your traditional stuff for the Elder Scrolls. Immune to frost, resist shock. Woad, or I'm not sure what the fuck that is in Thunderfist. <laughs> Whatever that is. Because Thunderfist, I don't think, exists in the other games. Orc. Armor, Axe, Block, Heavy Armor, Medium Armor, and then Resist Magic, and Berserk, Red Guard. Long Blade is the highest. Resist Disease, Resist Poison, and Adrenaline Rush. And what Elf? Acro, let's see. Light armor, marksman is the highest in sneak. Resist disease and beast tongue. Hmm. Considering going red guard here. For my, well, I started this game previously, but um, <clears throat> never got through it. So, and I intend to do that on stream here on the channel. So, to play all the way through this on here for the first time. I'm gonna go Wood Elf here and just go with a stealth character. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? Hmm. Why do not interfere in the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about the strange animal that you have never seen before? Yeah, I'm thinking that. Or, draw your dagger, mercifully ending its life with a single thrust. Or A, use herbs from your pack to put it to sleep. One yeah. summer afternoon, your Why? father gives you a choice of chores. What would you rather do? Go catch fish at the stream using a net and line. Gather herbs for your mother who is preparing dinner. Work in the forge with him casting iron for a new plow.
Hmm. Uh, I guess Your catch cousin fish. has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? Make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Beat up your cousin, then tell him that if he ever calls you that nickname again, you would bloody him worse than this time. Or, <clears throat> make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson. There is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe what? Considering nobody's here at the moment, I'm just going to get through this stuff quickly for the rest of this. <clears throat> Let's see here. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you do?
Oh, witch hunter. So, a witcher. <laughs> oh, goody. <laughs> oh, dear. Hmm. The name of the game is actually at the bottom of the stream. That's interesting. It hasn't happened lately. Maybe shit's starting to work finally. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? thinking shadow here, but... I'm thinking this one. Why not? Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Take your papers off the table and go see Captain Gravius. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. Okay. 
he not down there then? Hey gaming, how's it going? Speak freely, friend. So, okay, that's that. That has me going in directions too. That opens up the journal. For some reason, that's jump. The left trigger. Think it'll rain? Uh, okay. You want something, friend? Okay, that's wait. <clears throat> How interesting. Okay, that's how I switch to third person. And I have to hold the thing down to sneak. Okay. That's odd. So where do I have to go here? Go to Balmora. Okay. In Vardenfeld District, and report to a man named Cassius Co Cosetus to find out where he li uh, to find out where he lives. I should ask in Amora at the corner club called the South Wall. All right. <clears throat> So Balmora is where I want to go. Vic. Balmora, this way. Alright. What's your D? Oh yeah, that's the fast travel system in this. Apparently running drains stamina in this. This way. Oh good.
Okay, this sucks. Fucker. This way. <clears throat> and I guess weapons can degrade too, apparently. There's a road sign here. Here we are. Oh, more is this way. This way, then. Athletics has increased to six, okay. So that much is similar to Oblivion then. <clears throat> See what we got going on here. Elmore's this way. Um be you friendly? Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Hmm. I'll deal with that after I get to Belmora.
Not sure if I'm going the right way. Didn't see a road sign there. Okay, I don't think I am. Okay, maybe I am. Yay, a sign! I saw the sign! Anyway. What's the sign to Belmora? Okay, that would be this way then. Oh good, there's something to fight up here. Good. I don't like blowing things this early. this way then. This way to Belmora.
Is this what an Argonia what looks like in this? Yeah, apparently that's what an Argonia looks like in Elder Scrolls 3. Alright, so... Whoops. Corner Club. <clears throat> okay, so South Wall. Okay, that's not it. Guild of Mages. Fighters Guild. Bookseller. May your guess you're an orc. And many. What's this building? Temple. Alright. We don't need to go there. We're looking for a place called the South Wall. I assume it's like a pub or something. Cleaner and outfitter. A pawnbroker. Lucky lockup. That's to the, to a traitor. Okay, that's just the upstairs to the place. this about nothing ma'am just going by somebody's house somebody else's house probably same thing yeah
here we are. Do you want something from me? Okay, so... Cassius, yeah. So I'm looking for someone named Cassius. What kind Yes, Bosmo. Nothing. The person I'm looking for is not down here. You're not it either. You're not it. You're not it. Yes? Here we go. Yes. Okay, I gotta go get some I'm armor listening. now.
Alright, so. Let's see what we got here. Nesh Leather Right Gauntlet. Nesh Leather Left Gauntlet. Thirteen six, yeah. How much are these? Okay, so What Khajiit do for you? Okay, hey, there has to be another place, like an armor or something. Here we go. I'm listening.
Okay, let's go do some freelance work. So, first let's save here. You know, let's try to do a quest here. Pelagia, uh, a Pelagiad, okay. Friend. Let's try to get there then. played some of this before, but I've never played all the way through this. Ivy, but, and, uh, thank you for being here. Yes, I am playing it on uh, my Xbox C Series X at this point, Ivy. <clears throat> this is the Game Pass download of it. Although I do have a physical copy of it right here on the original Xbox. Ford, evidently, is what we're passing now.
since you're new here, Ivy, I... That's not really working for this thing. That's better. Well, uh, trying to be an archer, uh, the... This character is a wood elf, so he's supposed to be good at archery, but, uh... Not sure how the mechanics work in this. Considering most of my time in Elder Scrolls games has been spent in Oblivion and Skyrim, so... So let me test something here. Quickly. Let's try going in first person here. Let's see if that means anything for archery and shit. That's, that's good to know. But as I was trying to say before that uh, combat there, since you're new on the channel, I will uh, explain one thing to you that I generally try to stream every day, if at all possible. So generally on Mondays, well, I'll start on Sundays. I just do random streams on Sundays and just random stuff that I want to play. On Mondays, I'm trying to work my way through the Mass Effect series, so I'm currently working on Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition right now. On uh, Tuesdays is, uh, is basically anything from my backlog, which would include this, but uh, this also falls under Arcade Thursday, which would be today. Uh, and Wednesday, I'm playing through the Witcher series. Then Saturdays, I'm going back through what I call the adventures of, uh, of Drew Heartfire in Skyrim in my Let's Play of that. Or, as I call it, my Drew Play of that, because that's my name. And, uh, yeah, I generally play a lot of different things here on the channel. When uh, PlayStation Plus or, or Games with Gold has any decent free game offerings, I'll try to do those on Fridays. There hasn't been any good games in that for like six months. So I really haven't streamed lately on a Friday in a long time. Plus I do the PlayStation stuff on the YouTube side of things. I do all my Xbox stuff here on Twitch. So. Just wanted to throw that out there for you since you're new here. Okay, I haven't seen a road sign in a while. Hopefully there's one up here. What's that in the distance? Fields of Kum Shrine. Okay. How do I get this text off the thing now? Okay, it just eventually goes away then. Alright. Cool. 
Who are you? Alright, I'll try to find your friend since I'm doing freelance stuff anyway. I'm listening. Alright, so let's check this now. Okay, so I gotta go to Vivek at some point. Alright. Still need to find a road sign or check the map in general. Okay, it's down this way. So I'm generally pointing in the right general direction then. At this point. Okay, here's a road sign right here. Here we go. I think once I get to this town, I'll probably call it a stream there for episode one of this. And, uh, yeah, because it's getting close to 1.30 here. Well, actually, I forgot that clock is fast. It's about nine after. Should you need something, I will be happy to oblige. Ah, uh, good for you.
All right then. We made it here, so. <clears throat> so with that in mind. Eh, fuck. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. So, with that in mind, I will catch you guys in the next one. Because I'm going to need to lay down soon here, because I'm getting pretty tired, but as it is. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so next time you'll see me is, uh, Saturday before the Drew Dad Games podcast on YouTube t on Saturday night. Uh, so at some point Saturday afternoon for some more, uh, adventures of Drew Heartfire in, uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So, with that in mind... All I see is Metal Log live, so with two people here, we're going to raid him here, and I'll see you guys Saturday here on the channel, so with that in mind, thank you Ivy for being here, I appreciate it, and thank you for Gaming or What, who was here earlier to pop in to say hi, which I know that he's at work, so with that in mind, we will drop in and say hi to... I need to spell raid right, first of all. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, on Saturday, right here, back on the channel. Until then... Have a great rest of your day, and see you guys next time. Later.